The package includes manual, monitor, camera, sunshade, U-bracket, test wire, cigarette lighter adapter, power cord xianhao hong, antenna xianhao hong, 4M bracket, 3M sticker and other accessories. Now demonstrate how to install the U-bracket. Pick up the 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker and stick it on the bottom of the bracket. Tear off the 3M sticker, you can stick it on the dash bar. Take out the accessories needed to install the U-shaped bracket. Align the bracket holes with the screw holes on the side of the monitor. Fix the monitor and stand with screws first. Tighten the screws by hand. Secure the stand and monitor with another type of screw. Tighten the screws with a tool. Do the same on the other side. Install the sunshade on the monitor. Install the antenna on the monitor. Put the screws through the hole of the monitor U bracket. You can fix it in the proper position on the car. Camera 2. Put the screws through the hole in the camera bracket. You can fix it in the proper position on the car. Tear off the protective film on the camera before use. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. After adjusting the angle, use the tool to tighten the screw. Install the second antenna on the camera. Pack up extra accessories. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Connect one end of the test wire with one connector to the cigarette lighter adapter. Connect the other end of the test wire's two connectors to the camera. Connect one end of the two connectors of the test wire to the monitor. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the serene. When the infrared light of the camera is on, the picture becomes black and white. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Pick up the power cord. Connect the power cord to the camera. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. The black wire is connected to the negative of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Touch the M key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the picture. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the mode key. The icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the brightness. Touch the mode key to confirm. The icon turns yellow. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the contrast. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the contrast. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the hue. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the hue. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the M key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mirror flip. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to select the mode you need. Touch the M key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mode. Touch the mode key to confirm. You can choose the split mode you want. Touch the M key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the cam setup. Touch the mode key to confirm. 
You can turn on or off the signal camera. Touch the M key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the system. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the mode key. The icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the system date. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the mode key to switch to the next data. Adjust year, month, day, hour, minute in turn. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the delay time. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the delay time. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the P-Line. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn on, off the guidelines. Touch the mode key to confirm. Touch the M key to return to the previous interface. As it's a waterproof monitor without have the recording function, so SD card as unless, just ignore the play and record icon. Touches the M key to exit the menu mode. When the guideline appear on the screen, touch the up key. When the M appear on the screen, touch the down key to moving the guideline left and right. Touch the up key. The W appear on the screen. Touch the down key to adjust the width of the guideline. Touch the up key. The H appear on the screen. Touch the down key to adjust the height of the guideline. When you are in a harsh environment, such as a storm or snowstorm, you can use the lock screen function to lock the monitor. Touch and hold the M button for 3 seconds. When this icon appears on the screen, touch the mode key to lock. In this case, all the button are not work. Touch and hold the M button for 3 seconds. When this icon appears on the screen, touch the mode key to unlock. Follow my operation. Touch the CH key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch to the split mode. Touch the CH key again to switch to the CAM2 channel. Pick up the second camera. Now it's CAM1 channel. Connect the second camera to the power cord. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. The black wire is connected to the negative of the tail light or 12 volts DC power system. Cover the camera with your hand and hold the automatic light sensor with your finger. You can see IR light. Touch the CH key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Touch the M key to enter the menu mode. Touch the mode key to enter the pairing countdown. Turn off the camera's power and quickly turn on. The image appears on the monitor, means pairing is successful. Touches the CH key to switch to the split mode. Images on both channels. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. Taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 